entertain! Are you not entertain? Is this not why you are here? <laughs> okay. Is this door? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that. We're here. <laughs> We're here right now. Another episode, another day with NFL Real Talk. Uh, We're going to gonna talk about Miami today. <laughs> the Dolphins. We're going to go into the draft. I'm going to review, go over that a little bit. And uh, free agency. God. <laughs> okay. I, I saw that uh, Matt Moore had a good game. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't spectacular, but you don't have to be great. You just got to be better than the next man. <laughs> That's you, true. Got, you just got to be better in your competition. That's and true. It, to me, he was better than Henny. Um, so is he going to be taking starter snacks? I mean, <laughs> from what I've heard, the latest is that uh, Coach Tony Sperano says that, you know, Matt Moore is in the – a threat for the competition to be the starter. You know, the Henny is locked in. He's not penciled. He's pinned in as a starter. And uh, that's just the way it goes, which makes absolutely no sense to me. And while we're on that, I'm going to get straight into it. <laughs> as to, uh, there was a little drama last year at the end of the season as far as, you know, a certain owner of the team talking to a certain college coach. Uh, Mr. Harbaugh. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> No, there was drama with that. I, I didn't agree with it. You know, I, I like Tony and Jeff. I think they found some some acorns, as they like to call them. The, you know, the players finding the acorns and, uh, you know, some secret gems. I think Tony has done a pretty good job. But with this latest news about Matt Moore, what the hell are you thinking? What the hell is going on? You, you tripping now. I see why they tried to get rid of your... You'll tell. I'm, I'm trying to. WTF. WTF. <laughs> Basically. Come on now. I'm serious. Chad Henney. I, I used to be wanted to believe what's going on. Patience. You know, hey, give him time. But last year, he sealed the deal for me. I watched enough games and I saw him crumble and just make bad reads. Lock on to quarterback. I mean, lock on to receivers. Uh, the inaccuracy, especially deep downfield. It's, I mean, I'm not saying he's just going to be terrible, which I think, but still, you know, I can't, I'm not going to make that call. <laughs> but he seems more like a backup. He, he, I don't see him grabbing the starting spot and taking care of it and just holding on to it and then being what this team needs. Why not open competition for it? And first of all, they, I mean, Tony and Jeff Ireland, you know, the coach and the GM said that the goal in the preseason, or not in the preseason, but in the offseason, was to get competition for the quarterback. They want to bring in a veteran. Let me see. Let me go through the list right here. <laughs> First of all, if you go, if you look at our past videos, I don't know what the name of the video was, which video it was, but I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I said that uh, I really like Brian Mallory. The jury's still out on him. He, he's going to spend some time behind uh, Brady. But I still really like Ryan Mallett. Well, he was looking nice in that preseason think, game. Like I said before, I think he's going to be the best quarterback in that draft. Me and T said that. Go look at the video. Look at the video. You can find it. And subscribe while you Yeah, subscribe. Go ahead and subscribe. <laughs> but they passed on him not once. Not just in the first round. Not twice. But three times. Passed on him three times. And you want to bring in competition for, for him. But you pass on him three times. Then you pass on... B.Y., I mean, you know, he has his issues, but you just want a competition, right? Uh, <laughs> pass on Orton. I understand I want to over, over trade for him, you know, the value. But still, you passed on him. You want a competition. McNabb, I mean, his issues there, but still competition. You just got to be better than the next man. You want to be better than what you have now. Make the team better. But... You don't. You pass on all of them. What, what's the deal? Then you bring in Matt Moore. We're like, okay, competition. And you say he's not even competition. What's the deal? How's you, you tripping? Yeah, I don't know why you're hitching your wagon to, to Chad Henney right now. That horse ain't going nowhere. <laughs> and the O line. I can maybe we were terrible on the inside last year. Interior lineman. Uh, I still would have rather. Took Mark Ingram in the draft in the first round mm. over uh, over uh, Pouncey, but that's a different story. 
I mean, this, you can't really say that was a bad move to go past. But I still, I would have went with Ingram. And back, back, back doored it with the uh, mallet, you know, my preference. Mallet and Ingram, that would have been nice. And maybe DJ Williams, you know, is tight end instead of having to go with uh, Clay or whatever his damn name is right now. You say you like Clyde. Uh, oh, not Clyde. I'm talking oh. about this, our fullback slash oh, tight end. Okay. We need okay. the tight end. But I, I like Clyde Gates. I'm going to say that I like him. Uh, we needed that speed. But as far as the line is concerned, you bring in Colombo? Really? Yes, Colombo. Colombo from Dallas? Colombo's the future of Miami. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna uh, edit this and Whoa. cut out that last part he just said. Oh. Colombo. What position do you play? Tackle. 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 I understand you want the interior line to be better, so you move Vernon Carey inside. But do you really want to sacrifice uh, the the outside? You know the the pass protection. Who's do that. You gonna play right tackle? On you? Yep, right tackle, and they move Vernon Carey to right guard. So, he starts? Yes. Oh, this is worse than I thought. I yeah, thought he was a backup. No. Whoa. No, starter. Whoa, Maybe. Tommy Green. <laughs> at, least, at least give him competition. You don't want to give him any competition. At least at least someone compete. Don't just give Colombo. What is he proving? Anything. Tommy if you can't Green. you can't start in Dallas if Dallas gets rid of you. That line was atrocious. <laughs> that line was horrible. They want to get rid of you. Why do we want your scroll? <laughs> your backup. That's ridiculous. Uh, Bush, Reggie Bush. We brought in Reggie Bush. I think it was a pretty good move. We were then at running back since we got rid of uh, running, well, let running Brown and Ricky Williams go. I really think we could have kept Ricky. But what did uh, what did Bush do in the preseason? Uh, no, nah, he didn't play. I uh, think it was an injury concern or something like that. He already something. get an injury. Some they just want to let him heal a little bit, you know, just make sure he's okay. Okay. But he better be playing by week three preseason. Tampa Bay about you don't to want tear that. it up. You don't want that. You don't want you that. You don't want that because we going to hurt him. When was the last time Tampa beat Miami? Oh, we ain't worried about that right now. This exactly. is the new Buccaneers. <laughs> this is the new Buccaneers. Did you hear that? We're not worried about that right this now. You know what that means, right? <laughs> that means we're about to wax it this shit. Hey, Reggie, I'm not so sure about him. Uh, because the line play, in the first, given it was just the first preseason game, it wasn't it wasn't good. They weren't opening up any holes. Uh, and I don't know how long Reggie will last in that. And plus, we have big linemen. We have the big road graders. How are we going to run all them screens for Reggie and stuff now? I, I don't know. He's going to be a lot. He's going to receive a lot of check downs from check down Chad Henney. But, and uh, other running back, Daniel Thomas. I'm iffy on him. Uh, he runs upright, high. What was his stats uh, in the first game? Like five versus four yards. Given, uh, like I said, the interior line didn't do the job. <laughs> he, he runs up high. He's flat-footed. He had fumble problems in college. Mark Ingram would have definitely been better. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> and I'm going to Omar Kelly. Uh, if you're not following him on Twitter, you, you should. He's a good source. Um, does a lot of live updates on, on practices. Uh, just real good to follow as far as Dolphin information. But, and he always keeps it real, but he disappointed me lately. He disappointed me. If you will follow him, you'd know he seemed like he hated Ryan Mallett. He just he was just not a big fan during the whole draft process. He, he just didn't like Mallett. And, you know, Miami should not get him. He has problems. He's, he's too big and slow. Long release is just, you know, he's going to be a uh, Byron Leftwich. You know, he's Byron Leftwich-esque type quarterback but now all of a sudden after um, giving it was just preseason game but Malin, Mallet showed some you know poise in the pocket he showed some potential in his first preseason game and Omar you know tweeted you know some positive things on, on Mr. Mallet and how he you know he said he tried to tell people that we should have got Mallet that's not what I remember from the tweet <laughs> I remember something completely different <laughs> I mean, it comes out, he said that he said this, you know, about drafting Mallet during the third round on the second day uh, in a media room. 
Okay, I can understand that. But at that time, it's, it's pointless. It's irrelevant. You need a quarterback, a great quarterback, you get him. You don't wait to the third round for your rivals to trade up to get him. You believe he's that good, you take him. That's the bottom line. Yeah, and, and plus, you didn't tweet it. You, I mean, you tweeted everything else negative about him. Well, all of a sudden, behind closed doors, you know, yeah, I said we should, should have got him. He's going to be a star. That, that was just my little rant right there. Lies, man. all lies. <laughs> <laughs> He's still a good follow, though. He's still, you should still follow him, good information. It's just that that was one thing. Uh, that's about it for I can think of on Miami right now. I think I got a lot of stuff off my chest. Uh, hopefully, I, I don't know as far as the predictions on this team. At first, I was optimistic, but <clears throat> the quarterback issue, I expect, I still expect the defense to be good, but the quarterback issue, I just don't know about it. Uh, I don't I don't see us it's, making the playoffs. It's a quarterback and running back issue. Man. Yeah, that, and the interior line still seems good. It's messed up, so I don't see the playoffs. I see... And we play some tough games. We, we, not only do we play our division, but we also play NFC East. I see eight, nine games. I don't know if that's enough to keep Tony's job. Do you want Tony go? If he don't open up this quarterback competition, <laughs> he needs to go. Uh, if he don't figure out this, he's, he's supposed to be offensive line guru. If he doesn't figure that out, he needs to go. No I have to ship away. <laughs> I have to ship away. <laughs> but that's it for uh, NFL Real Talk right now on the Miami Dolphins. Uh, leave some comments, subscribe, let us know what you think. You know, if you agree, disagree with me, or just anything, any suggestions, let us know. Let us know. Peace. Straight up now, tell me, do you really want to love me forever? Oh, oh, oh. Or is it just a hit and run? Hey, we got a good thing. I'm gonna see you again.